Hey guys, that's Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a quick look at level streaming inside of Unreal Engine 4. So what this is essentially going to allow us to do is stream levels in and out to save the performance. So if you're going from one big section to another, you're going to want to get rid of the old section and load the new one on. Uh, the less you have on your screen at once, the better the performance is going to be. So let me just give you a quick example of how level streaming can work. So right now, if I go through this doorway, if you look into it, you can see there's nothing more, uh, nothing else out there. However, as soon as I hit the trigger box, you can see a new terrain has just loaded a whole bunch of different objects. And uh, yeah, and then if I wanted to, I could even stream out this old section, uh, which I'm going to be going over in another tutorial. But as of right now, I just want to show you how you can stream on these extra sections using blueprints. So let's get started. So first things first, we're going to need to open up the level window. To do that, just go up to window and then go to levels. And in here, you can see that right now on my screen, I've got the persistent level which is the demo one map that I've got that we've been creating throughout the series. And then I've created a second level here, you can see, demo two. And if I go and toggle this on and off, you're going to see that's the extra terrain, these two big boxes, and so on. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be showing you how to do, how to merge these levels and how to get them to load together. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on that. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new level for now, just default level. I'm not going to save any of this stuff. And now we've done that with the levels window open, you can see that we've just got the persistent level, the stuff that's right here. And if I go ahead and press the toggle visibility button, you can see it's all going to go black. There's nothing there in the level at all. That's basically what the player is going to see, nothing. So what we need to do is pretty much create a new level now. So to do that, just right click uh, on levels up here. So I just click levels and then just go to create new and then you can create a new level. Just call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this new map two. Once I've done that, you can see we've got a new map here and we can play around with a few things here also. If we wanted to, we could turn that on and off uh, the visibility as we have nothing there as of right now. Uh, nothing's going to change. I'm going to show you how to add content into your second level in a second. We've got lock the level so we, we can't modify it just in case you accidentally make some uh, make some changes. Uh, we can open up the level blueprint for the first level or the second level if we wanted to. Save it and then change the color. I'm not too sure why you might want to change the color, but the, the option is there. So now we've got this, let's go ahead and get started. So to actually add content into the second level, double click it to make it your current or just press enter. And uh, now we've done that, we can start putting in new stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the basic tab and I'm going to go ahead and dump in a big cube here with a material on it. Now you can put whatever type of actors you want into your second level. It's just like any anything else. You can add in light actors, sounds, all of that cool stuff. Uh, just go ahead and put it in there. But for now, just for the purpose of the video, we're just going to chuck a quick cube into there. And now if I turn uh, the level visibility on and off, you can see the cube is on the second level. And if I turn off the first level, the cube's still there. That's pretty much how we want to set this up. So now if I go ahead and uh, press play, you won't be able to see that cube. It's not loaded in. We need to use blueprint to actually load that cube in. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a trigger. So go over to volumes, go down to trigger volume, and then just chuck it in your scene wherever you want it. And I'm going to put it here. Now this is where the blueprint stuff comes in. So just go over to blueprints and then just open your level blueprint. Once you've done that, you should have nothing in there. And uh, let's get started. So first things first, because it's a trigger volume, we need to create some kind of event. So for us, that's going to be beginning uh, when the player actually touches this trigger volume. So we're going to use the begin overlap event. So with the trigger volume selected, right click and then go to sorry, right click and then go to, okay, it's not going to work. Do you want to know why? It's because it's in the wrong level. So let's just sort that out. Just go to window, levels, bring that back up. And then we're going to right click the persistent level and press move selected actors to level. And now it's going to be in persistent level. And I'm also going to make the first one the current now is that's the blueprint we want to be working with. So go back up to blueprints now, open level blueprint, right click, 
and then add event for trigger volume 8, collision, because it's a collision event we want the player to collide with the box, and then begin overlap. Once we've done that, uh, it's kind of easy. So right click and let's use the load event. We want to stream in these levels. So load stream level. And then as soon as the player touches that, we're going to hook that up to a load stream level. Once we've done that, we need to put the second uh, levels name into here. As you can see from the levels bit, we've got new map 2. Spelling, uh, capital letters and all of that is really important. Otherwise, it won't load. So new map 2, just like that. If I close that now, press play, and then walk into it wherever the box is, I'm going to have to find it. You're going to see it's still not going to work. Most people make this mistake so easily. If you go over to the blueprints, open level blueprint, there's a little option here that says make visible after load. Make sure you check that otherwise you won't be able to see anything. And now if I go ahead and press play, walk forwards, you can see the box. Uh, comes to life you can see it in front of you but yeah that's pretty much it now just remember you can add all kinds of different assets into uh, your different levels you can create uh, one room in one another room in the other or from one terrain to another you can create loads and loads of crazy stuff if I wanted to let's just go over to levels let's go and create make this the current level real quick and I'm just going to copy and paste this a couple of times just so we can see that we can add loads of stuff in. It's not just limited to one or two objects. Okay, so back to that. Going to make the normal one the current level again. Press play, walk forwards, and you can see that now the objects load in. Now, I'm not going to be showing you how to unload this stuff right now. That's pretty much all I want to show you. So just keep an eye on for the next tutorial for level streaming. Uh, thanks for watching. Just play around with level streaming. It's absolutely great. Brilliant for performance and is uh, a great design decision. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.